Hello, Rani AK Mac, and welcome. So we are on day three now of the anniversary sale. Today it is the alien vehicles, or the alien manufacturers, and the ground vehicles. In particular, we saw progress on the Tumbral Cyclone and the Banu Merchantman, which I'm sure a lot of people are excited for. So starting with the Tumbral Cyclone, they are into the modelling and tweaking of the final art. It's almost ready. Uh, it's a two-man vehicle with a modular rear. The focus is on speed and manoeuvrability, kind of a cross between a Humvee and a Jeep. It's got exposed parts and very good off-road with tight turning radius. We did see some really cool footage of it racing across all the three moons. It looks like a lot of fun. It's less of a utility vehicle compared to the Ursa Rover, more of a truck with multiple variants, ideal for either supporting your ground troops or fending off ships, uh, or even great recon for scanning and mapping terrain, plus placing beacons to make landing zones or marking targets perhaps. And there's also a racing variant which has a boost option. The Nox is actually faster, but the, uh, the Cyclone is, is pretty damn quick too. They say it's great for planetary exploration. They're now, they currently it needs a lot of fine tuning uh, for how it feels when it drives. Lots of other things are needed to do on it uh, to make it look right and handle right. Suspension needs a little work, but it's definitely, definitely coming along quite well. Now the Cyclone is on sale. It's $50 uh, for the RC variant. It is $55 for the RN and for the TR it's also $55. And then for the anti-aircraft it is $70. After this, they showed us the Banu Merchantman, and it's it's now gone into production. It's basically in design and concept phase, so they're sort of re-examining every aspect to bring it up to the current standard. It has been around for a very long time, and many people are waiting on it, so it's definitely good news that it's now in production. They've started investigating corridors. The, the Banu Defender was obviously a good style guide for this and the concepts. That's a more up-to-date ship than the Banu uh, Merchantman was. They're looking into the stats as well to make sure that it all makes sense. The website stats are pretty much accurate now for the moment, for their current understanding. They could change later on, but that's where they see it. The top turret has size 5 guns, and all the turrets are actually uh, remote operated. So it's great for transporting cargo, but unlike other haulers, it has a negotiation room for the owner to sort of strike up deals with clients. Now, clients can board your ship and check out your wares, and then you can come to a negotiation on that. It's kind of like a flying bazaar or a market. Uh, you can have multiple shop fronts inside. I'm hoping you'll be able to actually rent out some of these uh, shop fronts for others to, to display their wares. And they say it's got lots of floors to it. On the bottom floor, it's just a large hallway leading to an elevator, and then you've got shops. Now, the negotiation room is only for VIP clients. The regular clients will be walking around the stores on the other, the other levels. We saw a cool interior shot which looks like white box or grey box. Very natural flowing style. Obviously this is an alien ship. The metrics will not be the same as a human ship because the Banu are a lot taller. So the doors and most of the things are actually bigger. And they do trade with the Van Duel as well so they're quite a, a large race too. The other interesting thing is that the pilot and crew live together and they live around the cockpit area. We did see a little concept of the cockpit area and it looks very interesting. Uh, there's a cool negotiation table there. Uh, we also saw a cross section of the whole ship. It is definitely coming along and it is looking very impressive. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are excited to see this one. But they're still looking into the interior and it needs to look like nothing that we have seen in the human race. So I expect to see some updates on that as time comes along. Now the Banner Merchantman is $350 should you want to pick it up. But the other ships that have gone on sale now, we have the Ursa Rover at $50, the Banu Defender at $185, the Genesis Starliner is $400, the Katu Al is $170, the Argo 1C is $35, I think that's the cargo one, and the 1P is $40, that's the personnel one. The Nox is $40, the Prowler is $425, and the Merlin, the P-52 Merlin is $20, the P-72 Archimedes is $30. Anyway, that was today's day three anniversary sale overview. Again, as always, let me know if you're picking anything up. Do you own a Banu Merchman? Are you hyped to see that? Personally, I love the look of the, the Tumbral Cyclone. I don't own one, but I'm looking forward to trying them out on a planet. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We've got a lot of giveaways coming up in December. Also, to stand the chance of winning a Star Citizen starter package, which we do every month, courtesy of my patrons, hit subscribe and just comment below with anything you have to say throughout the month of November. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch, Twitter and Instagram and I'll see you next time.